Once that wheel is out with the wheel trim cover or the wheel well liner, um, you should be able to get at these little screws. Uh, although it's easier when the bottle's out of the way. There's one up here and there's one over here, which is kind of hidden. So the next step, what I would do is to take the bottle out. two pumps on this thing. Um, one is for the front windshield and the other pump is for the headlight cleaning. This one is for the windshield. Headlight cleaning is up on this end. out of its seat show in a second. So I wanted to pull the pump out of the uh, the bottle 
but what happened was just the top top half of the pump pulled apart. See with all of this out of the way, you can now get at the module mounting bolts. There's six in total, two, three, four, five, and six at the bottom. To disconnect the connector, you just pull on this, this tab here, and it comes right off. this side of the way. T25 Torx. Nice to have a variety of size extensions. don't want to lose any of the bolts, so make sure to put them somewhere where you'll find them. Bottom two, it's probably easier to see from if you go through the wheel well. And the last one. And there's also the ABS pump connector. That's these two wires at the bottom. And that's the ABS module. And usually the circuitry in here the little fibrous wires break or the big ground wire um, so what we do is we send it out for repair car is perfectly drivable as is uh, warning light will be on in the dash which was anyways because of this not working um, you want to cover this up with a plastic bag keep dirt and grime away from it and once you get the module back there's a link in the description to where you can send it for an exchange uh, on an exchange basis or they'll overhaul yours um, and then uh, basically drive it with the plastic bag in place and then when you get it back you just put it back in place plug it in and you're good to go no coating involved since it's your stock original unit 